أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, let me quote before getting engaged in this episode one of the sayings of Al Imam Al Hussein, the master of the martyrs, when he says, Be aware, do not be among those who are only concerned about the sins of others while they are neglectful of their own sins. Al Kafi, Volume 8, page. 49. Even though 1400 years have elapsed, still the saying of Imam Hussein is highly appreciated by Muslims and is considered a peril of wisdoms. And this saying, Al Imam Hussein alayhi salam, is focusing our attention on a very important Islamic issue, which is that every single person should only be heedful to their own sins and should definitely refrain from uh, talking about uh, others' sins. In this saying, Al Imam Hussein alayhi salam is focusing our attention on a very important Islamic principle, which is every person should refrain from talking about others' sins and should only be concerned about their own sins. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to Who is Imam Hussein? A series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, going through the stories that happened to him during his life, and then we speak about the prophetic narrations that said by the Prophet of Islam in the right of Imam Hussein, and we end up with the uh, unique unparalleled martyrdom of this great Imam. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our dear viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about the noble family to which Imam Hussein was born, and then we spoke a little about the miracles that happened to him at his birthday and whatsoever. However, in this episode, we're going to talk about the youth of this great Imam. Even during his childhood, Al Imam Hussein alayhi salam was watched by the angel Gabriel. In his book Al Irshad, a Sheikh Al Mufid narrates from Al Imam Al Sadiq alayhi salam the following hadith. Al Imam Al Sadiq alayhi salam says, Once Hassan and Hussein were wrestling in front of the Prophet of Islam, Fatima alayhi salam said, O Messenger of Allah, are you encouraging Hassan against Hussein? The Prophet answered to her, it's rather Gabriel who is encouraging Hussein, telling him, O oh Hussein, catch hold of Hassan. This is in one of the narration. As children, both Al Imam Al Hassan and his brother Imam Al Hussein were pious while remaining conscious of the needs and the disabilities of other people. In a narration recounted by a Sheikh Al Mufid, may Allah be pleased with him, he narrates from Al Imam Al Sadiq the following hadith. Al Imam says, I saw Hassan and Hussein walking to the pilgrimage, meaning Hajj. Every rider they passed would dismount and walk too, and for some it became too difficult. They went to Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas saying, walking is too difficult for us, we would rather ride, but these two young masters are walking, meaning Hassan and Hussein. So Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas approached Al Imam Al Hassan and said, walking is too difficult for a group of people. Who are with you, yet they cannot relieve themselves by riding if they see you to walking. It would be easier for them if you too rode as well. Al Imam al Hassan alayhi salam replied, We will not ride because we both have vowed to walk to the house of Allah walking on our feet, but we will walk away from the road instead. Both Hassan and Hussein alayhi salam went away from the road to make things easier for the people. Years later, and here is the anachronism. The son of Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas, Allah's curse be upon him, would be among the murderers of Al Hussein alayhi salam on the 10th of Muharram. Our respected viewers, the last story I would like to end this episode with is the story that happened to Al Imam al Hassan and his brother Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, and in which they teach their followers a code of morality and ethics. The story is the following. One day an old man came to Medina. At the time of prayers, he began to make wudu, but he was making his wudu incorrectly. Hassan alayhi salam and his brother Hussein saw the old man making wudu wrong and they wanted to correct him. They didn't want to offend him or make him feel insulted. So they came up with a plan. They went to the old man and said, my brother and I disagree over who among us performs wudu the best. Would you mind watching us make wudu and be the judge to see which one of us indeed performs wudu more correctly? 
Could you please correct us wherever we are wrong? The old man agreed and washed carefully trying to judge who is better. In the end, the old man understood what was going on and said, By Allah the Almighty, I did not know how to perform wudu before this. You have both taught me how to do it correctly. This is a story of morality that both Imam al Hassan and his brother Imam Hussain alayhi salam teach their followers to learn from them how to forward a piece of advice to someone without offending them or making them feel insulted. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet with a new episode, let's pray Allah hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, Al Imam al Mahdi al Muntadar, to interpret the message of his grandfather Imam al Hussein, who said, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil from the society of my grandfather. This is for today. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.